Hello, I'm Mary Jean Harris with today's Climate Change Minute. Most people do not doubt that our temperature records are accurate, with data collected over decades by prominent organizations. However, there are many ways in which organizations have skewed the data and even used guesswork. Firstly, the number of weather stations and their location is important. In the last decades, the number of land-based reporting stations was dramatically reduced worldwide. This allowed NASA to guess and fill in what they estimated the temperature should be based on the closest stations. Almost 45% of surface stations have closed since the 1990s, meaning that these temperatures were fabricated. In Joseph Delo and Anthony Watts' paper, Surface Temperature Records, Policy-Driven Deception, we learned that a dramatic increase in temperature was coincidental with the closing of many stations. Moreover, many stations were relocated to places where the thermometers were placed next to major heat sources, such as paved roads or airports. Other temperature data fabrications have taken place, including simply reducing temperatures in the past to minimize warming compared to the present, and selecting sl smaller timescales for temperature graphs to create the appearance of warming, when in reality, the slight warming of the 21st century is dwarfed by large-scale warming and cooling in the past. We need to look at the real temperature data, not what has been filtered through misleading organizations, to properly understand our ever-changing climate. To learn more about this and other topics in climate change, please visit icsc-canada.com.